All right, math time. Yesterday we classified and sorted by color. And we had the clouds, if you remember, on the first page. And we had to choose clouds. For example, Mrs. Garosby's video picked red and not red. Well, today, my friends, we're going to be classifying or sorting by shape, by shape. So let's create a sorting mat for ourselves by choosing a shape. And you'll draw that shape at the top of the column or at top of the sorting space. And then we have our word here, not, and then you'll draw your shape again. Mrs. Grosby feels like choosing triangles today. They're pretty fun to draw, almost like the letter A, but we don't cross in the middle. So there's a triangle. Oop, let's make it nice and neat. And not triangle. Now, let's draw some shapes. The directions say sort and classify a handful of shapes. We can do three or four, however you'd like. So, on this side, only triangles can live on this side of my sorting mat. So I'll do maybe a big triangle here. Maybe a smaller triangle this way. Maybe a giant triangle this way. All the triangles can live in this space. Not a triangle. Hmm, what shapes are not triangles? This one is definitely not a triangle, so I can put it there. This is definitely not a triangle, so I'll include it. And this is definitely not a triangle. I sorted my shapes. I'm sorry, I sorted, yes, I sorted my shapes based on what kind of shapes they were. It doesn't matter that this is a big shape or that this is a small shape. If it is a triangle, it gets to live here. It doesn't matter if that's a small circle or this is a big rectangle. They are not triangles. So we sort them on this end. Let's go ahead and open up our pages, Kinder. And it is similar to our last work also. We just have new categories to look at here. Circle square, triangle, and rectangle. So you have here your shapes there. Let me go ahead and grab my crayon cup just to make sure that I follow the mixed up shapes they gave us. They gave us a green triangle this time. So triangles live in the triangle spot. Make sure, cross that out. Circles. I see the blue circle there. Squares, now remember squares are a very special kind of rectangle because the sides are all the same. So it cannot live here, it is all even. So we're going to put the square, the yellow square to live in the square area rectangles now I have rectangles that are different colors too so I have to make sure all of them make it I have red rectangles little small ones feel free to do this with Mrs. Garosby so that you're getting it done oh I forgot to cross out that shape to help me stay clear and another rectangle I hope that didn't escape your eyes. It's a little bigger. There we go. Make sure I get all of those spaces. And one shape that got left out. I have a red triangle. There we go. Was that all the shapes? Oop, I didn't cross out my circle there. All right, so all of my shapes have now been sorted. This information will help me finish the work on the next page. One, look at the categories here. How many K 
categories have one shape. Okay, let's see. No, no, this one. Circle has one shape and square has one shape. So I have circled my categories. How many categories did I find that had one shape? There are two. So please make sure that you write the number two on the line. Now I have to find categories that have two shapes. That was easy peasy. The triangle has two shapes, so I will circle my triangle category. Now for the line, how many categories did I circle that have two shapes? Which categories? Just this one. There is only one category with two shapes. Next up, which categories have three shapes? Oh, my eyes, that's really easy. A rectangle. Rectangle category is the only one that had three shapes. So how many categories did we circle for three? Just one. All right, again, please make sure. This isn't asking how many shapes are in the rectangle. We can't put three there. There's only how many categories. How many categories had three shapes? Only the rectangle had three shapes, so one category. Let's try to keep those straight, my dear friends. All right, now the, the page came up with their own sorting mat. So let's think. How did they sort these shapes? Now it's not by color. If you remember yesterday, all the shapes on this side were red, but I notice that all of these shapes have sides that are the same length. So this must be a sorting mat that has squares and not squares. Squares and not squares. Even these, even though they have these shapes have four sides, do they match the shapes on the other? They do not. They do not have equal lengths on their sides. So we have squares and not squares. I wonder if your eyes were able to find that. Now, my dear friends, draw something that you would like to sort in your sorting mat in shapes, by using shapes. So we did that before. They asked us to do that at the beginning. Now, is there another way to sort shapes that you know, that you would like to add here? For example, they can all be the same shape and be different colors, and it is still okay. I think Mrs. Grosby is going to go with circles. Those baby circles, large circles, medium circles, all of these will be circles, and they could even be different colors, but they can still live in the same space because they are all the same shape. And this is a category that only worries about shape. So you could be any color you want. Oh, I think I used that one already. Come on, crayon. There we go. Now I'm thinking while I'm coloring, what is a shape that is not a circle that could live on the other side of this sorting mat? Triangles aren't circles. Ovals aren't circles either. So I can put that there. Squares are not circles. Stars are not circles. Rectangles are not circles. And I can color those any color I'd like. Even if it's orange like the ones on this side, can it live on this side of the sorting mat? No, because the rule for this sorting mat is to sort by shape. So go ahead and have fun with that, my dear friends. A new way to sort shapes, not just by color, but also by the kind of shape it is. Enjoy.